Well, hello and welcome everyone. Today we're gonna to find out if I can change a 10 inch motorcycle tire, it's actually a scooter, uh, tubeless rim in under three minutes. So this is a 110 80 10 tire on a alloy rim. No special tools, not even a bead breaker. I'm gonna use a side stand of another bike to break the bead. And I'm also going to use nothing but three tire levers and a valve core removal tool. From start to finish, can I do it in under three minutes. Let's have a look, I'll talk you through it. Take three, let's see how quickly you can do it. The trick is to be calm and not rush. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, so as I said, it was take three. I had three rims to do this on, uh, all of which are mine, I should now point out. Break the bead over here. So the valve's out now, we're gonna break the bead oh, on the side stand of the other bike. The Oh, it is giving me grief. There you go, I got one done, I could hear it. You gotta flip the tire over and break the other side. There you go. That was a little bit slower than last time. So the last time I, I did pretty well, uh, but it wouldn't beat up. And that's where I lost a lot of time. So getting the top lip over on a tire it's usually not that hard. The bottom one's a little bit harder. There you go, top lip's off. We're gonna get that second one though. It can be a problem. Trick is with the second lip. Once you get to about here where I am now, you gotta take really small bites. Second bead's always the hardest one. There you go. So I think I mentioned these are my rims. I'm not worried about scratching them. So I'm not using rim protectors or anything, obviously. But it's it's my bike, my rim. So I'm lubing up the tire with some special lube, uh, which is actually from America. Nomar do it. It's quite good. The tire machine's got its its own direction lube. See, I just lost time there. I didn't. I should have just put the tire in the right direction. Stupid mistake. Rookie mistake. Don't make that one if you're going to go against me. So you can see that the tire levers I'm using are the moose style ones. They've got a curve on them, which is really good for for putting the tire on. Use the other side to get them off if you've noticed that. They're really good levers. I have probably about, that's, I think five or six of these in the workshop. They're really good. Like even here you got that small lip, just gets in there really easy and knocks it over. So that's a tire change. I'm gonna put the valve core in first. I normally wouldn't. I'd I'd get it to bead up. Yeah, I'd get it to bead up by putting the valve in after. But I'm trying to save time. Uh, it pains me to watch this part. See how the gauge blows off? I disabled the locking mechanism. And I wish I didn't. Hey, there you go. So it ended up being three minutes and five seconds from start to finish. That's pretty good. I know I could do better. I'm actually shooting for, I won't even say the number, but it's definitely less than three minutes. But if you guys want to compete, pick a rim of similar size and go for it. Upload the video, let me know. Do you think you could beat my record of three minutes and five seconds on something similar that you have at home? Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.